Hello, this is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 18 of this Let's Play Battle Brothers. This is the army without a state, and I just remembered I did not save it at the end of the last episode. Let's do that real quick. Okay, so... Before we get started, I just want to put out the reminder saying that if you wish to have a character named after yourself, then please do let me know in the comments below. I'm sure that we're going to have a couple of people coming up through the ranks because we have expanded our roster very slightly. We have Sigurd and Ulrich on the way up, but everyone else is already named after you guys, and it'll be great to see some more of those names appearing. Right, what are we doing? There is another quest here in Campoada which we could do. Uh, let's have a look at what it is is and if it's caravan then we're going to say no buy some food and then do it you walk around Campoada before stopping a man and asking him if there's anything interesting about he balances a smelly and dripping pitchfork on his shoulder as he thinks well where's the horse um the man grins mostly to himself at that one hey all right it's also on off the burgermeister wait are you that sell sword feather, fella? The stranger squints at you and then quickly continues. Ah, shit. Of course. Yeah. Arnolf the Burgermeister talked about you. He said, Hilma, go and clear the shit out of the horse stalls. And if you see mercenary people that are talking of, fetch him for me. He stops and points down the road towards a building. So, yeah. You want some money? Then that fellow in there wants to pay you. I don't think he really needs another man slinging shit. If you was worried about that, I got that shit under lock. I'm all ears. One off the Burkermeister takes a seat in a chair big enough to be comfortable for two. He bandies a mug back and forth. Brigands have been harrying us for weeks now. And just yesterday, they tried to set fire to a pub. Can you believe that? Who sets fire to such a thing? Luckily, we put it out just in time. But things are getting bad around here. If they threaten our precious drink, what will they do next? Luckily, we managed to find out where these vagrants are hiding. So, yes, I see your look. It's a simple task, Selsword. We want you to go and kill every last brigand there. Are you willing to work with us? Let's talk money. He puts a hand on your shoulder, smiling reaffirmingly. I think I know an adequate compensation for your services. It's 110 crowns in advance, and another 420 when the job is done. I want more when it's done. You'll be paid? No. Okay, he said no. I accept, and I will probably be wanting to buy food, but I'm going to do that. Whoops, once we've dealt with the brigands, where are they? The ruins of Blackwatch Keep southwest of Comfado. Southwest? They're in here somewhere. Oh, I didn't even realize. Wow. Okay, there's a fair amount of stuff over on this side. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so part of the. I bet it's that. There it is, Blackwatch Keep. Um, I think we have enough food to get there and back in a day. It's risky. Uh. Yeah, all right, we'll kill the brigands. Let's just double check the equipment is sorted. I think the equipment is sorted. We're all healed up. All right, let's kill the brigands, and then we'll go after the ruins of Blackwatch. A few brigand poachers and brigand raiders. Oh, dear, this is actually quite a big party. Two archers, a couple of people armored. Not hugely strong, seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably one in there. All right, I'm going to say we're going to wait until they come forwards. Come at me, bro. Terrible shot. You're moving behind a tree for some reason. You're going to not be able to shoot anything for ages. Does my entire team really go ahead of yours? Yes. 
Guess we have to shoot that guy then. They really don't want to come towards us. They have archers this time. That's fine. We'll shield war then, I guess. No, we don't really need to. He's kind of wasting stamina. Because I have a lot more ranged damage than they do. I thought at this range, archers are going to be kind of rubbish. Ow! better. I'm not going to bother shield walling. We already get pretty big bonuses against ranged attacks anyway. Um, you can stay where you are. Yeah, at this range, archers are rubbish. If you want to sit there wasting your stamina, then feel free. Oh, Spearman's coming forwards. Right, you're going to step forwards and then hit me. So let's shield wall. Shield wall you two, I don't think I'm going to bother with the others. Okay, now they're coming forwards. Missed me. Nope. Gotcha. Lovely jubbly. And we have much better chance against this guy. There we go. Missed. Um. Let's bring you into position. Also, you. I want you on the uh, the high ground because then you can get better swings at them. And it's harder to hit people on the high ground. Alright, this is fine, this is fine. Getting a good surround, I mean their archers are still going to be annoying, but they're not exactly doing a lot with them. Okay, um, let's bring you here and shield wall up. Crossbow. Kind of got to be against that guy, unfortunately. Swing and shield. Swing and a shield. Oh, fifty one percent chance of hitting. Come on. Nice. And we'll leave you there. Nice. Headshot. I'm wondering if we want to switch to daggers. And get some armor out of this. I think we might want to. Yeah, know what? Yeah, we're going to. Okay, dagger time. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Shield wall. Ow. Cripes that hurt. I 
hope I'm not about to lose Ulrich over there. That would be particularly annoying. Uh, what I could do is push him back. Because then he'll still be adjacent to you. We'll try. Boom. And that means that Ulrich is now protected. It also gives me a free shot. Oh, for Pete's sake. Fifty-one percent chance of hitting. It's twice you've missed now. Fifty-fifty. I should have hit him. Uh -uh. Oh, you shoot the guy with the highest range defense. That's really clever. That's smart. It's really smart. Um, let's stab this guy. Shield wall. Cross um, hitting the guy on the hill. That's probably a mistake. I'm not going to be able to steal any of your armor, so I think we're just going to go stabby stab against this guy. Twice. Twice. You have basically no armor left, so I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> you still go. You're going for the guy on the hill with the uh, kite shield. Clever. Clever, clever, clever. Wish I was that smart. Oh crap, I moved Ulrich forward. I didn't actually mean to move you forwards. I meant to move you back there. Well, bugger. Alright, that's better. There we go. Boom. Go after the archers before they run away. That's what I'm talking about. Right, Ulrich. You stay back there somewhere. So I don't forget. <laughs> um, you may as well take a swing at him, honestly. Alright, it's just dagger, dagger, dagger on this guy. Jeez. Um, you can move up so you don't need to. I could move you around the back here. Which I think I will. And then switch your tagger. Run them down. Good. Dog got them. Who let the dogs out? Who? Who? Got an achievement. Uh, you can wait. Dagger. Too tired. You can't hit him anyway. You're just gonna sit back there. Dagger. Too tired. There we go. Alright, two people leveled up. Uh, Ulrich took 127 damage, but he was the only one that was really hit. I mean, two of you took a bit of... a little bit of damage. We got some new armor, another of the really, really, really expensive flails, which is awesome. And also a Morningstar. 40% of damage ignores armor. I might need to use those instead of sh um, swords, because I never use repost. It, it's too fatigue intensive. So... If I were, theoretically, to give you a morning star, 30 to 45 damage to armor, 0 to 18 ignores armor, inflicts 10 extra fatigue, or we can knock you out. 75% chance to stun on a hit, uses 25 fatigue to 13, 4 action points, inflicts 15 to 22 armor damage, 
zero to eight ignores armor versus the arming sword zero to nine ignores armor ten percent chance to hit though I mean that is the benefit it's the extra chance to hit or the flail ignores the bonus to melee defense granted by shields which is really really quite useful 30% damage ignores armor 100% chance to hit the head uh, getting headshots is actually a fairly decent idea because that destroys helmets and I don't really have a problem with helmets it's the body armor that tends to be lagging a bit behind although we are catching up pretty quickly we probably don't need to be quite so careful about getting armor for that much longer because we've actually boosted our party's armor really quite rapidly um, not convinced not convinced Oops. I like the extra chance to hit is the thing because that's useful against everyone you are both using boar spears. Oh, I was mistaken. Okay. So we have some new 90 armor. Which I think is basically what everyone's already wearing. Yeah it is. Oh, fantastic. So let's set this to repairing. And those are some items which are going to be worth a pretty penny. Do you have the minus one vision? You do. 105, you're using a 140. Oh no, it's the newbies I should be checking. 105, 110. Okay, so... Ulrich the Untested has leveled up. We're going to give you a student. And also, small skills. Ooh, that was a terrible roll. Fatigue. Melee defense. Range defense, I guess. Unfortunately, you didn't get any more melee skill, though. Wow, that guy is a level 5? 6? Melee attack. Melee defense, though. Is, uh, no. Melee attack for sure. Health for sure. Then either fatigue or resolve. It's got to be fatigue really. Although I also want you melee defense. He just didn't have that good a skill. Okay, you were level 5. Venerous is nearly level 6, which is awesome. And you do have a perk. Um, we are using pole arms. Repel and hook will always stagger any target hit. Removing it. To the, or moving it to the end of the turn order. Reap gains a plus five chance to hit. Oh, spear master. Sorry, spears. Were, no, no, it's pikes. Throwing, bow, crossbow, spear, pole arm, dagger. Um... Repel and hook. Oh right, that's the uh, bill hook ability as well, isn't it? We'll now also stagger, stagger any target hit, moving it to the end of the turn order. And this is the one that pushes them back. Force it away from the user by one tile. Targets hit may take damage if they push down several levels of height. Shield wall, spilled wall, and repost will be cancelled. I must use that to cancel thingy. I don't know if I want to take that though. I've been told that two-handed axes can eventually become really really strong and also two-handed swords so we may not want this. I don't know yet. Um, so I think we're going to take something else instead. Possibly Pathfinder so I can move you around faster. Fatigue and initiative penalty from wearing armor and helmet is reduced by 30%. That's not bad. 
Or quick hand so I can switch your weapons faster. Or recover. You don't tend to have uh, fatigue problems as much as the other, so I'm going to give you recover so I can switch your weaponry if I need to. Sorry, not recover, um, quick hands. Cool. So we didn't take much damage, we took a little bit. Everyone recovers in a day. So I think we can take a day. We'll go back to Campo Alda, Wader. We'll buy some of their horrifically expensive food. Because the town should already like us a little bit more. It's still more than double the price. Not third, three times the price anymore, but still. Freaking expensive. Ah. Right, let's make camp. Recover from our wounds more quickly. Midnight. We'll start moving. We'll be there by dawn. Alright, off we go. Everyone's recovered, with the exception of Ulrich. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And there's Dawn. Ruins of Black Watch Keep. Let's see what we can do here. It is only a level one contract, so we should be able to handle this all right. You can't make out who you'll be facing. Attack your own peril and be prepared to retreat if need be. Eight of them against ten of us. All poorly armoured with the exception of that guy and that guy. Oh no, you are as well. Bill Hook. Must beware of Bill Hooks. Not wearing helmets though. Which seems to be a really bad idea. Just saying. So yeah, I think we'll just take down the Bill Hook guy if we can. Everyone else has to be in melee. At which point my spears can do their thing. Might need to double check to see exactly how much repost costs. Oh, you're blocking him. That's not nice. Really? 70% chance of hitting? 75%? You miss? Come on. Alright, so basically everyone on their turn gets to move before us. I think I'm going to do a spear shield with you. Just shield. Do we want to do repost? They can step up and hit once. I don't think we really need to. It costs 25 fatigue. We'll just wall up. Uh, you could do both. Oh crap. Didn't spear shield wall you. Well, buggy. I'm going to move you up. You're being protected by his spear wall, so you should be fine to hit this guy next turn. Likewise, we'll move you up. In fact, you can already swing. 67 or 87 turn chance of hitting. Let's just take this guy out of the equation. That's their pole arm attacking me. No, 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 no. Nope. He did. Now I can hit him again. Damn it. Nice hit. Did we take his armor out? We did. That's fine. I'm always doing the shield wall first, so I always have the stamina for it. He did. Just in case he hadn't realized, he did. Um, <laughs> that could be really annoying. I'm going to move you here. Oh no, you don't have enough of the spear wall. I'm one point short. Oh, you are kidding me. Alright, 
shield wall it is. I was going to spear wall you and then basically everyone trying to get in close would have been taken apart. Interesting shot. Trying to break his shield. He's done some damage to it, but he haven't broken it. Uh, I guess we shoot at him. He did. He did. He did. You know what? I think we're going to try and nick this guy's armor. I think that sounds like a great idea to me. And this guy? Yeah, and that guy. Need to be somewhat careful with Fenris because he has taken a bit of damage to his armor. You two are about to retreat. Or about to try to retreat anyway. Lucky. Oh no, don't kill the dog. I didn't think you'd actually hit him back. <laughs> no, not that dog. Oh, I can actually make it. Nice. Quick hands doing its thing. Both of those guys. Whoops. Oh, you're still using a sword. My bad. <laughs> Don't kill the armor. Don't kill the armor! <laughs> Damn it. There we go. One of the reasons not to use dogs, I guess, because I don't think they do piercing damage. Well, they might do. You know, they bite. That's piercing damage, technically. Now just that guy left. I think he's probably feeling somewhat screwed right now. You killed my dog! You bastard! Oh, it's opened up a, another way in. Oops. can hit you with this. Uh, you can stay there. We'll move you in because you can actually attack. And there we go. Alright, so he didn't take much damage. Dombasos got two kills there. Not bad for an archer. And um, we did get a little bit of loot. Oh, and some food. Cool. Right then. Let's head back up to Kamfwada. And hand in this quest for a whole bunch of cash. Then I guess we go back to... Stullfest. And see if we can get some more decent people. Anuf the Burgermeister leans back on his chair, folding his hands over his lap. Self swords don't sit right with many folks. I suppose on the account of your killing and destroying whole villages on the short changed whim. But I'll admit you done good. He nods to a corner of the room where a wooden chest lays unopened. It's all there. 
I wouldn't be offended if you need to count it. You do count it, and it is indeed all there. Ground well deserved. Okay, you are now... You do still have tr ambush trade thingy. But the price of things has, like, halved. But still seems to be super expensive. So no, I'm not going to buy anything from you. So screw you. Jugglers do have good hand-eye coordination. They tend to make fairly decent archers. All right, Stalfest, and see who we can get from there. And then I guess we'll go to Milek. We've been to Milek before. Ooh, we are needing some more tools and supplies. Actually, speaking of tools and supplies, uh, Lemelarama. Is there anyone else who needs this? We have loads of patched mail shirts now, which is cool. We can sell the padded leather, I think, and definitely the botched gambeson. Speaking of which, actually, yes, we should be making sure our people are using the proper weaponry before we enter a combat. Also, we have a level up to deal with. Cool. Could also do with investing in some proper crossbows for my back line. Alright, Sigurd the Untested. You are a defensive guy. Not the best role, but acceptable. And you are a student. We need to get some more tools. We really burn through tools so quickly. We need more people too. Um. Hmm. Onwards. Let's see what we can get here. Orcbane Company. Very nice. Yes, that's the other thing is we could pick up some crossbows too. Right, who's available? Ah, of course, these jokers. Yeah, you're a bit too expensive. We could get Torvald, though, who is a squire. A young squire, Torvald dutifully accompanied his knight to many battles. One night, strange shuffling men silhouetted the moonlit horizon. Alarm bells met their group moans, and an hour later, half of Stalfest lay in ruin. As war ravages the land, there is now plenty of opportunity to put his skills to use. Yeah, we'll, we'll hire you. Gisselher is, a, an, a, is an apprentice. Garolf is a militiaman. I don't like paying for the extra level, though. I find I don't really need to. Tools are 250. That's still pretty expensive compared to what I usually pay. I will buy some grain, though. We can sell this stuff. I'm sure we can get better prices. Yeah, I probably shouldn't sold that stuff here. We can get better prices elsewhere. This one wears a leather coat for protection against cutting wounds. Ha, <laughs> nice. Nine hundred and thirty eight for the crossbow. From you. Or 469. Oh, light crossbows, not crossbows. I think it's probably worth picking up a light crossbow. Well, that cost me 500. I won't be able to pay the wages then. Nope, maybe not. Alright, so... I think we're going to head back to our usual stomping grounds. In fact, we need to head to the north to finish this ambition. We'll do that in the next episode. So remember, if you wish to see your name appearing in this game, then do hit me up in the comments below. And if you haven't just generally enjoyed this series, then please do hit that like button. If you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, do consider subscribing. If you are looking for other ways of supporting the channel, uh, check out the 
Patreon. I was like, it's Discord. No, it's not Discord. That's another thing. Speaking of Discord, if you want to hang out with the uh, Mordred Viking community, then there is also a Discord uh, link in the description below. A group of like-minded people like these types of games. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.